One of the biggest mysteries in all of Game of Thrones is still, who are the three heads of the dragon? Now while I feel we all have a good solid answer for two of them, I don't believe people know who the third is. In this video, I will tell you without a shadow of a doubt how I solved this mystery and who are all three heads of the dragon. What's the deal my people, you know it is Don Flan and I'm back at you another one and this one is who are the three heads of the dragon? As I said in my opening, not only will I tell you who are all three heads of the dragon, and I will provide you with 100% proof that this will be the case in the Winds of Winter book when you see it all and that these will be the three people who are the three heads of the dragon. Not only will I do that, but I will also tell you the role that each one of these individuals will play when it comes to defeating the White Walkers. So let's get right into this, but before I do, if you can, please subscribe, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment, because interaction is key, people. That's what I'm here for, the interaction. Whether you agree or disagree, please put it in the comment section why you do either so let's get after this theory now when daenerys was in the house of the undying she has a vision of her brother rhaegar and it goes like this a clash of kings daenerys four for series was the first thought the next time she paused but a second glance told her otherwise the man had her brother's hair but he was taller and his eyes were dark indigo rather than lilac aegon he said to a woman nursing a newborn babe in a great wooden bed. What better name for a king? Will you make a song for him? The woman asked. He has a song, the man replied. He is the prince that is promised, and his is the song of ice and fire. He looked up when he said it, and his eyes met Danny, and it seemed as if he saw her standing there beyond the door. There must be one more, he said, though whether he was speaking to her or the woman in the bed, she could not say. The dragon has three heads. He went to a window seat and picked up a harp and ran his fingers lightly over the silvery strings. Sweet sadness filled the room as man and wife and babe faded like the morning mist, only the music lingering behind to speed her on her way. Since Daenerys has three dragons and the Targaryen sigil just happens to be a three-headed dragon, taking into account that Aegon Targaryen took Westeros with his two sisters' wives, all three on Dragonback, people believe that this must happen again and that this is what this prophecy means. So we are looking for all three people who people believe are dragon riders. Now we're going to get to that in a second. So let's unpack everything that we just heard from this vision. Now I believe that we have everything we need to solve this mystery from this vision it all is spelled out right here you just have to know how to read in between the lines to see exactly what they're trying to tell you now first let's go on to this we hear him say that his son is the prince that is promised so what is or who is the prince that is promised the prince that was promised is a prophesied leader or we could call him a savior the prince was supposed to be part of the ancient prophecy that foretells the coming of a hero to deliver the world from darkness. A bleeding star is supposed to herald the coming of the prince, and the prince is supposed to have a song, the song of ice and fire. That's what we hear Rhaegar say. When we listen to this, it sounds exactly like the person known as Azura Ahai. In fact, the last prince that was promised was Azura Ahai. Now I know people like to say they're two different people, but no, the person was Azura Ahai and he was the last prince that was promised. Now there's supposed to be another person who's gonna fulfill this role. But instead of one person fulfilling this role, it will be three people fulfilling this role. Hence, the three heads of the dragon. And if you wanna know why I feel this way, 
then I suggest you check out a video from Crow Food's daughter whose channel is The Disputed Lands. She came up with the theory that Azura Hyde or the prince that is promised will be three people instead of one person. I agree with it so please check out her video. The link will be in the description. Although she does say in her video that there will be three people to represent Azura Hyde. She does not tell you who they are. That's what I'm going to do in this video and I'm going to do it right now. Now Melisandre says that there are three things that have to happen in order for this person to be the Azura Hyde reborn. And she says when the red star bleeds and darkness gathers Azura Hyde shall be born again amidst smoke and salt to wake dragons from stone. In this dread hour, a warrior shall draw from the fire a burning sword, and that sword shall be Lightbringer, the Red Sword of Hero. So in order to be Azura Hyde Reborn, you have to be number one, reborn, wake dragons from stone, and draw a burning sword from a fire. Now what I think that people messed up on when dealing with this theory is this. They're looking for a certain person to fulfill all three of these things. But since it's three people, not one person, I believe that one thing will be achieved by each person. So let's unpack this. The first one is reborn amidst smoke and salt. And Rhaegar gives us the clue who this person is in his vision from the House of the Undying. When he says... There must be one more, he said, though whether he was speaking to her or the woman in his bed, she could not say. The dragon has three heads. So what Rhaegar is trying to point out to Danny in this vision while he says this statement is that there is a secret Targaryen. The dragon has three heads and that secret Targaryen, as we all know, is Jon Snow. Is my mother alive? Does she know about me, where I am, where I'm going? Does she care? The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. Mm -hmm. I promise. And we know that Jon Snow fits the first prophecy, reborn amidst smoke and salt, because we've seen him get stabbed and come back to life. So that brings us to the second prophecy. We'll wake dragons out of stone. Now we know who has done this and we see Rhaegar talking to this person in the vision. He looked up when he said it and his eyes met Danny's, and it seemed as if he saw her standing there beyond the door. There is only one person who has awakened dragons from stone and that is Daenerys Targaryen. That brings us to the last person, the person that will draw a burning sword from the fire. And I think Rhaegar gives that away in his vision to Danny also. Ceres was her first thought the next time she paused, but a second glance told her otherwise. Aegon, he said to the woman nursing a newborn babe in a great wooden bed. What better name for a king? What is the first thing that we see from this paragraph? And that is that Danny is fooled. She believes that she's seeing Viserys at first and then she realizes that it's not, that it's Rhaegar. Rhaegar thinks that Aegon, his son, is going to be the prince that is promised, but he doesn't know that his son will be killed. But we do have someone masquerading as Aegon right now who will fool Danny at first just like she was fooled by Viserys but eventually will realize that this is not the true Aegon and that's why he tells her there must be another one and that other one is Jon Snow because the dragon has three heads. That being said, fake Aegon does have a role to play 
and that is to pull the burning sword from the fire. And George Martin said himself when dealing with the three heads of the dragon prophecy that not all dragons be named Targaryen. And we know that fake Aegon is not a Targaryen dragon but a Blackfire dragon. And it is said that when Aegon the Conqueror died from a stroke at age 64, he was cremated on Dragonstone and his funeral pyre was set aflame by Vagar. Blackfire was burned along with him, but was later pulled out of the pyre by his son, Magor. And the sword was made darker in color by the flames, but otherwise it was unharmed. So the roles that they will all play are these. Fake Aegon will be the one to bring Blackfire into the fold because he is the one who has Blackfire because it was gifted to him by Illyrio Mopatis. After that we have Danny and John, and they will play the role of Azor Ahide and Nisa Nisa. John will have no choice but to kill Daenerys Targaryen in order to forge Lightbringer from the sword Blackfire so he could defeat the Night King and end the Long Night. So they all have a role to play. They are all Azor Ahai, the prince that is promised, but in the end, it'll be John that survives. Now you tell me what you think in the comment section. And if you want to understand why I believe John and Daenerys are Nisa Nisa, check out the video I did before this one. I'll put the link in the description. And as always, if you like the way I do this, please subscribe, click that bell, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.